there are three types of stability of objects. Uh, we have four objects here, a traffic cone, a football, a clamp stand with uh, uh, a flask of water that's been clamped on the wrong side of the, the clamp stand, and an upright pencil. Now, when we consider stability of objects, we must always talk about where the center of mass is and where and how wide the base of the object is. Before we go into these objects, let's take a look at an illustration I'd like to show you to, uh, to show you what's going on with stability. Here's a school bus and it's uh, just been tilted slightly. Uh, the center of mass of this school bus is probably about here. Uh, the engine has is, is got a lot of mass and that, remember, the center of mass is the point through which all of the weight of the object seems to act. So the, the weight, gravitational pull force would be acting downwards like that. If we tilt this bus ever so slightly more, what happens to the center of mass? Well, I hope you can see that because it's tilting around this pivot down here, that it would rise ever so slightly. Now gravity is pulling down on that center of mass, so if you let it go, then gravity would pull down and the bus would return to its upright position on four wheels. So this has got a special name, it's called stable equilibrium. Stable equilibrium and stable equilibrium is when you have a wide base a wide base and a low center of mass. I'll just abbreviate it COM if that's okay. Okay, so but what happens if we were to uh, tilt this bus a little further? And this position shown, what kind of stability has this bus got? Well, let's take a look at the uh, situation again. The center of mass, which is about here, and the weight is acting through that, and the weight force acts just. If I can draw a straight line. Oh, we're we're just within the base. So here's the pivot point on the wheel, and the weight force is just to the left of that. So this situation, if we were to tilt this bus slightly, what would happen to the center of mass? Well, it, I hope you can see it's going to fall now because it's rotating about this this pivot point here. So it would fall. Now gravity would then continue to pull it downwards and the whole bus is going to topple, rotate around that pivot. If you could, you could say there's a turning force, a turning effect or a moment that is created when that center of mass goes outside of the of the pivot point. So this is called unstable equilibrium. Unstable equilibrium. I'm just oh yeah, that's equilibrium. And uh, objects with uh, which typically are unstable equilibrium have um, a narrow base and a high center of mass. We'll take a look at those now. So, a cone. A cone's center of mass is quite low. About there. And so the weight acts downwards. If we were to tilt this slightly, what happens to the center of mass? Well, it would rise slightly. And if it rises, then gravity wants to pull it down. So when you let go, the cone would return back to its upright form, upright position. And so this is an example of an object which has stable equilibrium. Stable equilibrium and it as I mentioned before typically objects which um, have stable equilibrium have wide bases a wide base and low center low centers of mass so that's stable equilibrium it returns back to where it where it was let's take a look at the pencil now the pencil center of mass is in the middle because it's a fairly uniform shape. So weight is acting down like this and you can just see if I've 
can draw a straight line. The weight is acting just just within the very narrow base. What would happen if you were to tilt this pencil slightly? Well, the center of mass would mean that the weight force would be acting outside of the, the base. And if the weight acts outside of the base, then it would topple. It creates a turning effect and the whole thing topples. So objects which have high centers of mass, centers of M, C-O-M, and narrow bases have what we call unstable equilibrium. Unstable equilibrium. So this pencil is in, is in unstable equilibrium. If you tilt it, the center of mass rise, uh, well it wouldn't rise, it would actually start to fall and then gravity would take over and then the whole thing would topple. The retort stand situation is a, is a kind of mixture. We've got a, an object with a very wide base, which is good, but somebody's clamped this flask of water on the wrong side. Now if the the center of mass will, it might be about here. When you add up all of the mass, it, the mass seems to be concentrated at a point about there. And so the, set, the weight, the gravitational force acting on that center of mass, the weight force, is, is very close to that edge, if you can just see that. What would happen if you tilted this slightly? What would happen to the center of mass? Would it rise or would it fall? Well, it will fall here because we're very close to that edge. And if it falls, gravity takes over and the whole thing is going to topple. So this, although the retort stand is usually a stable equilibrium object, the way that this has been set up means that this is also in unstable equilibrium. So both the pencil and the retort stand, as shown, are in unstable equilibrium. The football is a special case because if you were to roll the football slightly, what would happen to the center of mass? Well, it neither rises or falls. The weight force always acts through where the ball touches the ground. And there's no turning effect produced. If you, if you roll it slightly, it just rolls to a new position. So as the, as the center of mass neither rises or falls, this is called neutral equilibrium. It's just a special case. Equilibrium. Okay, and I'll just make a note here. Center of of mass uh, does not rise or fall. Great. Three types of equilibrium. You should now be able to describe the stability of any object that you're shown and talk in terms of the base, is it wide or narrow? The center of mass, is it high or is it low?